Welcome to Marina's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make some uh, lintol croquettes. I haven't made them for a long time. Uh, they are lovely. It's a vegetarian dish. Instead of having patties or fritters, I'm going to make them in little croquettes. So these are lintols. So what I've done here, I've cooked half a cup of lintols. I put in a little small, small, but I put about 500 ml of water and brought it to the boil and then just let it cook for about 25 minutes until they're lovely and soft. Okay, so that's what we got. And then I cooled it down. And, and also, I've cooked here about two medium sized potatoes, not very big, and I mashed it. And I'm going to add that to the lintols, the mashed potato. I'm going to add that to the lintols, just put it all together. And then I'm going to, I, when I was cooking the potato, I put in a carrot. I also put in a carrot and I just mashed it down a little bit. I put that there too. I'm just going to mix everything up together. And I also grated uh, just a medium small onion. I just grated a small onion. That's, I just grated a small onion and just give it a bit of flavour through that. I'm just going to put that, just put it all in together now. And uh, these are very lovely. They're very, very nice. I've got parsley here. I've got plenty of nice parsley through it. And I've got some nice cheese. I've got some grated cheese, about a good half a cup of grated cheese. And I've got, I've got about three, two tablespoons of plain flour. I'm just going to put that together. Just mix it all through. And I've got a couple of eggs here, okay? Just put that all together there. That's all, just put everything in together. Now we're going to put some salt. Just going to put a bit of salt. I have put a bit of salt in the potatoes. And, and some pepper. Nice lot of pepper, lovely. And, and I'll just put that flour in there. And that's what we've got to do, just put it all together now. And I'm going to make them in little croquettes, in little, little logs, little logs. And I'm going to roll them in breadcrumbs and I'm going to shallow dry, fry them in my frying pan. I'm going to show you. See, this is how it is. Look, just put it all together like that. Once you've got it all cooked and all everything, the potatoes, the split, the lintels and the carrot, and I've got the lovely, lovely parsley through there, two eggs, cheese, beautiful. That's just lovely. And I'm just going to uh, fry these up for you. Now, look, they're lovely. They, they'll be about... You make about 18 of these here, little croquettes. Look, that's beautiful. That lintels, the mashed potatoes, the carrots coming through with it, and that cheese. Look, it's beautiful. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to put this on. I'm going to put this on, and I'm going to heat it up, and I'm going to shallow dry them, uh, deep fry them. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put them... I'm going to put some cheese through my breadcrumbs. I've got panko breadcrumbs there and ordinary breadcrumbs. Just make, mix it up. And I'm going to put some cheese through it, okay? Just mix it up like that with a bit of cheese through it. Give it a bit of flavour. And I'm going to put a bit of salt through it. Just a little bit. And some pepper. Lovely. Now, what we have to do is I'm just going to shake them up roll them in the flour then in the egg and then in the breadcrumb okay look that's just lovely this doesn't take long at all just shape them up like that get it into your hand and make a little croquette out of it like that and just put it in the flour roll it in the flour roll it in the breadcrumb in the egg and put it in the breadcrumbs that's lovely and then we're going to fry them Make little croquettes out of them, okay? Like that, nice. And do them and do it again. If it's a bit soft, I think this is a bit soft. I'm going to add a little bit more flour to it because it just seems to be a little bit more soft. So I'm just going to add a little bit more flour to it. So just put it like that. Put it in the egg. And put it in your breadcrumb. And make a little croquette out of it. Like that. Lovely. And the really, actually, you should let these sit down in the fridge for a little while because they firm up uh, and they sort of get a little bit firmer if you want to put them in the fridge. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just putting them all together like this. 
just get a bit in your hand, make a little log, like a little croquette, put it in the flour, put it in the egg, and into your breadcrumb. And that makes a lovely little croquette, okay? That's it. Just keep on doing the same thing. Look, you just make those little logs like that. Lovely. A little bit messy, but still they're lovely and worth like making them. Okay, just put them together like that. Put it in the flour, then in the egg, and then in your breadcrumbs. And you make a lovely little croquette out of it, like that. Just a little croquette out of it, like that. And now I'm going to deep fry them. I'm going to start deep frying them there for you. I'll just wash my hands. Actually, uh, I have to put a little bit more flour in that mixture because sometimes the mixture is a little bit, just add a little bit more flour to it if the mixture is a bit soft. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shallow fry these. Look, just put them in there like that. They don't take long to cook. They don't take long to cook. I just put a look. I've got that panko breadcrumb and just ordinary breadcrumb and that egg and that flour. It just doesn't take long to cook. They'll just brown up very quickly. And you just do a few at a time. In a, in, I just got vegetable oil there to shallow fry them in some vegetable oil and then just turn them around. Just want to turn them around like that. Look, they're beautiful. Take a while before I, I didn't have this hot enough you have to have this lovely and hot for them to firm up what I do is the best thing is to do it is sort of to uh, to put them in the fridge and let them firm up a little bit before you deep fry them and uh, then they come up lovely this is beautiful they are lovely vegetarian dish look it's uh, it's a little bit fiddly to do but I think I must go and go to put a bit more flour it, it just if it's if the mixture is a bit soft, just add some more plain flour to it. We just firm it up a little bit and then it won't be so hard to handle them. You can make them easy. So look, they don't take long to fry up. Take a few couple of minutes until they're nice and brown on each side. And you can have these cold or hot uh, and just serve them. I just like to call them my lintel croquettes because they are beautiful little little croquettes. Look, they, look how lovely that is. I've got a paper towel here. Look, I'm going to switch this off. I'm going to make those. Look, just keep on making the same thing. Look, beautiful. Look, at that mixture was a little bit too soft. Just add a bit more plain flour to it, that's all. Just add a little bit more plain flour to it until you get that mixture that you can mold them together. Look, they come beautiful. Look, little lintel croquettes, they're beautiful. You'll get about 12 to 18 out of there. There you go. So, look, it's something different. It's a lovely vegetarian dish. And uh, look, I'm going to add some more plain flour to this mixture because it's a little bit soft. Just put, keep on adding a little bit of plain flour to it so you get a little bit of consistency that you can roll and hand handle them yourself. And then just put them in the flour, the egg and the breadcrumb. I've got panko breadcrumbs here with the ordinary uh, breadcrumbs and I've got some cheese through it. Uh, look, they are beautiful. Lintel croquettes. They've got that lovely potato in it, that uh, basil, not the, uh, the parsley, I've got onion and mashed potato and carrot through it. So just give them a go. They're lovely vegetarian. Look, they're beautiful. And just shallow dry, the, uh, uh, deep fry them in some uh, vegetable oil and they come up lovely and crispy. Look how crispy that is. It's beautiful. So look, it's such a quick recipe. Uh, it's lovely. A lintel, it's a lovely vegetarian recipe. So I hope you've tried them and just put a little bit more extra flour in that mixture because I think it was just a little bit too soft. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. Bye.